It's no secret that platformer mode has become immensely popular in the community over the last few weeks. About 90% of new featured levels are platformers, and while I do expect that trend to reverse somewhat as time goes on and platformer mode stops being the shiny new thing, it's still something that concerns me. If you recall, before the release of the update, I made a video discussing my problems with the way Robtop was handling 2.2. I will make a follow-up to that and discuss all the new features in detail, but at the top of my list back then was platformer mode, and I think it warrants its own video. So, here we are. Ultimately, I don't think platformer mode is good for the game. I was skeptical when the update first dropped, but I thought maybe I just needed to give it a shot. The more I played it though, the more I realized that it didn't really matter. Because I'm not passionate about platformer mode like the rest of the community apparently is. The reason for this, as I've stated before, is because platformer mode is conceptually misguided. You have to realize that Geometry Dash is actually a very unique game. Like, yeah, you've got the Impossible game, but let's be honest here. The Impossible game walked so Geometry Dash could run. Or dash, even. Either way, Geometry Dash is the only platformer I know of that integrates music so fundamentally into its gameplay. And even the visuals. No other platformer does this. The closest thing I can think of is that Piranha Plant level from Mario Wonder or that factory level in Donkey Kong Country Returns. But even that is only a shadow of the level of music integration Geometry Dash accomplishes, because it's impossible for levels like that to tie every jump, every movement of the player, to the flow of the song. Because the devs can't possibly know where the player will be at any given time. However, in Geometry Dash you will know exactly where the player is. If you're 36 seconds into an attempt of Windy Landscape, Woogie knows that this part of the song is going to play, and so he can put jump pads here to sync with the notes exactly. This might seem trivial to you, like obviously people are going to sync their levels to the song they chose. Duh. But I don't think this is something we should take for granted, because it's a defining feature of this game that sets it apart from other platformers. It's the lifeblood of Geometry Dash, and every single update so far has only worked in service of that. New game modes, new grounds integration, all of the new decorative objects and editor options, and even additions that are a little more controversial, like the move trigger, all facilitate this ability to make levels sync with the music. Only now, in 2.2, has the game done a complete 180 and added something that subverts the core identity of the game, platformer mode. Because with platformer mode, the free movement of the player means it becomes impossible to sync the gameplay of the level to the song. Is this actually a problem though? Can't you just not play platformer levels? Well, I already mentioned that platformer levels right now account for 90% of newly rated features. They're being pushed pretty hard, but leaving that aside, this update, the new features in the game are going to affect the community in an irreversible way. Now that creators have been presented with this new feature, they are invited to use it to build their own platformer levels because it's something that's being encouraged by the game. It causes creators to lose sight of the core identity of the game, which just makes them worse at making levels. If you recall early 2.0, a lot of creators struggled with implementing the new features because of how massive the update was. It caused their levels to get a lot worse after the update. Of course, over time, this did get better, but some of them just weren't able to adjust at all and fell off completely. 2.0 didn't even challenge the fundamental identity of the game though, so it was to be expected that people would get better, even if there are still some pernicious habits from that era that persist to this day. With 2.2 we don't have this same guarantee, because it does challenge the fundamental identity of the game. That's why it always rubs me the wrong way when people tell me that adding more stuff can only ever be a good thing. Because you don't have to play platformer levels. I think they miss the whole point of the game, and they forget that sometimes adding something can make that thing worse. It would be like serving me a pancake and seasoning it with salt and pepper. And when I complain about the salt and pepper, you tell me to just not eat the salt and pepper. 
I think people didn't value the specialization of the GD editor enough. It was an awesome tool that specialized in one specific thing, and that is making rhythm-based levels that are able to harness a piece of music and create a gameplay experience alongside it that matched it one-to-one -one in a cohesive audiovisual experience. Adjusting a specialized tool like that for more general purposes makes no sense at all. It just obscures what the tool really excels at and makes it even less intuitive to use. It turns the editor into a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Turning the Geometry Dash editor into a more generalized platformer slash game engine also makes the minigame concepts people come up with a lot less impressive on paper. The argument that minigames are valuable because they twist the GD editor in a way that was never intended doesn't really carry much weight when the editor itself starts to resemble a game engine more and more. So people are using a game engine to make video games. That's not really impressive, that's to be expected. Of course, the fact that video games exist at all is impressive in its own right. I'm not here to shit talk game development, but we don't celebrate bad games because making a game is an impressive accomplishment, do we? No, they should stand on their own merits. That's kind of a problem though, because it's not like the GD editor is a good game engine as much as it tries to be. That's not what it specializes in after all. Again, jack of all trades, master of none. It's very frustrating because in discussions about this subject, people are quick to jump on me. Why does it matter to you? They'll say, you just hate change. And that's so disingenuous. I don't hate change, but let's not pretend change is always a good thing either. Sometimes change is just bad, and I think we should be able to discuss openly and honestly when that is the case, because I think this is one of those times. I don't want the community to lose sight of what makes this game truly unique. It's not just the level editor. There are platformers with level editors or modding communities like Mario Maker and Celeste that aren't any less accessible than Geometry Dash, and those games control much better than GD's platformer mode, but those games don't have intricate music integration into their gameplay. Only Geometry Dash does. That's where it truly shines. This whole situation reminds me a lot of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. If you remember, Banjo-Kazooie was a series of 3D platformer games until the release of Nuts and Bolts basically killed the franchise, because Nuts and Bolts changed up the gameplay and turned it into a Lego car game instead. As far as I understand it, it's not even a bad game on its own merits, but it's not what people wanted out of a banjo game. And this feels the same to me, even if platformer mode was really good, it's just not what I want out of Geometry Dash. Platformer mode should have just been released as a spin-off game, and that would have prevented all of the problems I stated before. Such an easy fix, but Robtop just had to Frankenstein both games together, even if that doesn't make any sense from a game design standpoint. You know, I'm not happy about this either. People often accuse me of just wanting to hate, but is it really that hard to imagine that my opinions are genuine? I don't want Geometry Dash to fail, but if it goes into a direction I think is bad for the game, I'm not just going to keep quiet about that. Of course I'm going to complain about that. <sighs> well, I hope that clarifies my position a little bit. Now. To be totally clear, this isn't me announcing that I'm quitting or anything. I'm sure there will always be a subsection of the community that recognizes Geometry Dash's true strengths, even if its developer has lost the plot, in my opinion. But yeah. Special thanks to my grandpa demons Xkami, Belfry Clock, and Alphiria for supporting this inflammatory rant via my Patreon. Thank you very much. And thanks for watching, guys. See you later.